come on out. This is like a sunroom. Got a hot tub there I left out there for me. That's going to cost me money to move. That's just, you know what? It's just part of doing business, y'all. We got a deck out here. Gazebo. You see that? You got that good? Oh, we can go outside. Damn, what in the world happened here? Wow. Just give them a shot there because I don't want you to, I don't even know if that works. So that's the stuff I got to deal with, y'all. Wow. Who's? Get who, down who's, on that, all this stuff. Good Lord. So, this, so have you factored this in? So the purpose of this video is to show you what it looks like in my world when we buy a house, right? I don't want you to think that buying a house is going to, getting a loan and all this paperwork and all that stuff because it doesn't, it doesn't have to be that. I want you to see in my world what it looks like. And further, we're gonna go look at the property. I have to walk through it because I haven't even been in it. It's a quarter million dollars that I'm buying a house today and I haven't even seen it. So we need to look at it. We're gonna walk through together and then we're gonna go to the closing after we get the money out of the bank. So you'll see the full process, step-by-step -step process, how easy it is to actually buy a house, quote unquote. Let's do it. Okay class, it's Chris Haskins with therealestateroundup.com. My mission and ministry is to help you raise your financial literacy through real estate investing and entrepreneurship. I have to show you how easy it is to buy a house when you use private money and you don't beg banks for loans. Robin Beal, thank you so much for working with me today. Absolutely, you are welcome. It is my pleasure. So y'all gonna see Robin in a minute because I'm not gonna let her spend all day off camera. She's working with me today. But what are we doing? We're at the bank now. What were you saying, Robin? Well, I just wanted to know what's the rundown? How, how are we doing What are we this? doing? Yeah, yeah. See, Robin don't even know. She... No, I'm just here being mentored and here to help out any way that I can to thank be of service. You. That's how you get rich. If you don't work for money, I keep telling y'all, stop working for money. So uh, today we're going to go to the bank. I'm going to go inside. We're going to go inside, running a camera. And I'm going to pull out a money order because people have already wired the money. My private investors believe in me so much. They allow me to hold the money for them. All right. So the money's already in the bank account. All I got to do is go inside, pull it out of the, get a cashier's check walk through the house and then go to closing and drop the cashier's check off. Wow, that's just another hat, just a funds manager as well, huh? I'm telling you, Robin, all I am is a funds manager. That's all I do. I need, to, I need to get that through to our community. I don't even look at houses. I look at them. I just show up with the money. All right, let's keep it rolling, let's do it. When I learned that you could buy real estate without begging a bank for a loan, that's when the heavens of, the gates to heaven really opened up for your boy, right? So it was like, you mean I don't have to actually turn in my credit report? I don't have to do tax returns? I don't got to do any of that stuff that most people think you got to do to buy, oops, to buy a house? You don't got to do that. So today, my lenders have already, good morning, my lenders have already funded the money to the, they've already given me the money in the bank and we're going to pull it out. Let's do it. Let's do it. How you doing, bro? Good, good. Come on up. So I'm buying a house today. I need to pull out you know what? I left the amount in the car. Okay. I'll pull it up on my phone. I need to get a cashier's check, my brother. Okay. Can you help me with that? I certainly can, yeah. Cool. What do you need from me first? ID. ID? Yes. Okay. Thank you. She keeps it on me, so we're going to pull the money out real quickly. And I had the HUD, but I left it in the car, so this is the HUD settlement statement. Here's what it looks like. It told you all the numbers and what I need to bring in to closing, okay? Alright. So how much was the cashier's check for? 254000 Okay. $328. Okay. And there is a $10 fee for cashier's check, but that's okay. Okay. Okay, so. 254000 Okay. $328.94. And cent. Okay, thank you. Big and numbers. Yep. Big numbers. When you got a lot of numbers going across, easy to mess it up. Wow. And who did you want going to? I'm sorry? Who did you want going to? Going American to? Escrow okay. and the Title Company. So I've already seen the crazy part about the real estate business is you, all you see is this. 
you don't see the road behind me, right? It's, it's like this road, it's invisible to you on the camera. Let me know when you need me. Okay. It's invisible to you, so you don't know all the conversations, all the interactions, all the butt kissing, all the negotiation, and all the documents, all the presentations, all the people I've talked to, to get to this stage where I can just go in and say, hey, why a quarter million so we can buy this house today? Wow. Right, so that's where we are now, but it wasn't always like that. And Robin, feel free. Any, anything, anything you want to add or ask, go ahead. All right. So if I get you to sign the front of the check for me. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Blank check. So they're going to charge me $10. I thought they would waive it for me, being that I do have... Waive it? Yes. Because the $10, no matter, no matter who... So we just, within a matter of minutes, transferred a quarter of a million dollars. Yeah, that's where people say money's not real. Just blink and it's gone, you know? That's so weird. Well, he's going to give me the cashier's check. <laughs> and we're going to go to the house. I got to walk through. But yeah, it is weird when you really think about the value, the value of it. You know, people throw around millions a day. And then we over here worried about paying our bills. Right. Absolutely. You worry about paying your light bill, water bill. We just, we just deal with 100 here, 100 there, 200 here, 300 there. I'm telling you, man, it can really mess with your mind when you think about it. All righty, you're all set. Thank you, bro. You're very welcome. Yes, sir. So, shoot, all this stuff. So here we go. We're walking out of the bank. We got a check, cashier's check, 200 some thousand. So let's get over wow. to the house and uh, thank y'all. Let's, let's get close over to this the deal. Let's go see if this, these people have moved out. Because I don't know. Oh. Yeah, I don't even know if they. Yeah, I, if they haven't moved out, okay. guess what? There's no Robert. deal. Yeah. <laughs> so they need to have vacate the, the premises. They signed the document. Come on. Okay. They signed the document saying that they would be out by 11:30. Okay. So it's 11:40. Let's go to the house. All right. So we were talking about. I just the impact. Real estate is boring. It's just dollars in dollars out mm. but the real magic comes when you can impact your community i didn't know shit did you know you could buy a house without going to the bank robin no who knows this stuff i didn't definitely not me that's an amazing concept i need to know more i don't even know like we talk about i don't make pay i do not make monthly payments monthly payments are for suckers i mean what why would I make a monthly payment? That means... No disrespect to my Roundup homies that is watching. I'm giving y'all a hard time. But we set up these loans. Do you, you familiar with how that works? That's a good question. How do you structure the deal? How do you set up the loans? How are you able to do that? We do what we call no payment loans. I don't even know where this house is. But this is why I love this property. Give them a pan of what we're going through here real quick, Robin. Show them the area. That's a cool little oh, area, man. single family brick. Yeah, it's a very nice area. That's why I love this property here. Wait till we drive. In. We, oh, we're in the illustrious city of Portsmouth, Virginia, by the way. Wait till we drive through this neighborhood. So we set up no payment loans. No payment loans are where we roll the interest in, Robin while we hold on to the money. And this way we get to not worry about, did I make the payment? Did the payment go out? How much is the taxes, the insurance? I don't gotta worry about all that. I only worry about it when we go sell the property. So the interest is working, 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 say I borrowed 250. When we sell it, I'll pay back 254. And I'm done. I don't gotta think about it. I punch in the calculator, I say, how long did we hold the money? 123 days, boom. And they pay back the money on the HUD. Interest goes to the lenders. We get the principal back, on to the next deal. Wow. What do you think about that concept? <laughs> that is it's amazing. It's all about the vibration. Check this out, y'all. So this is why I like this area. They got new cons here. I have a rental property over here also that does extremely well. So we're headed to the property here in Portsmouth, Virginia, but it feels like it's Suffolk. This is like a close to Suffolk. Oh, we gotta get some gas. <clears throat> Let's see if we can make this one real quick. Come on. Anything else you got, Robin, or are you good? 
I know you got. Don't cut the camera and be like, oh yeah, what do you think about this? So we were talking about financing, bank financing. Like okay. these lenders don't ask me for my credit score. I mean, they. <laughs> so these are private lenders. They're just regular people. Okay. I could have sworn y'all had private people y'all was working with, um, Robert. <laughs> I ain't gonna blast you out there. You tell me to stop. I don't. I don't. I can push real hard. Private people that we've been. Yes, we've we've yeah. had some people invest. There you go. I know y'all doing it. Here's our street, y'all. I'll give them the street. Okay. This, this. Look how this feels when you turn down in here, dude. I mean, it just feels phenomenal. Would you say? Man, it I feels would agree. so good. I mean, I feel like I'm in another city. You got blues, you got greens, you got nice solar panels. Everybody's roofs looking good. I mean, well maintained. People maintaining their stuff, and no doubt we got the worst house on the block. <laughs> I don't even know which one it is. I haven't even been here. I wanted to master the skill of buying houses without going to visit them. That's like my goal. I don't want to go to the house. Why do I need to go for? 3832. Okay, here's our subject house. You see we got trees all in the yard and all that stuff. So let's, let's see what we got. So today we need to make sure that our homeowner is out. If he ain't out, he ain't getting no. What rhymes with out? And money. If he ain't out of the house, if he ain't out, I don't know. <laughs> if you're not out, look at what rhyme can we do? Your ass for clout. <laughs> Come on. We let it roll. Let's go, y'all. Okay, let's go. You get no clout. If you ain't out, you get no clout. I don't know. Your ass. Let's okay. do it. So this is our subject house. You can see it's a beautiful neighborhood here. And I don't know what to expect. I'm here learning just like y'all. Let me check our volume real fast, make sure our volume's good. One, two, one, two, one, we good. Okay. Hi. Are y'all the buyers? We work with them. Okay. Good so morning. You, you got to make sure anybody here and then, so we can fund it. Oh, okay. I thought y'all was going to look through the property. Yeah, we getting ready to. I ain't oh, been okay. in yet. Who are you? I'm, uh... Nice to meet you also. Nice Hi. meeting nice you. Meeting Hello. You. We record all this stuff for uh, training purposes and stuff. Okay. Is everybody gone? He's not in the house right now. He just went to the laundromat, but he's ready to go. Well, we need him. just waiting for y'all to come and walk through. Okay, cool. We do, in order for us to fund it, you know, no disrespect to nobody, he has to be out. So he's I don't out. know. Okay. We just, right. We're just walking through with y'all. Gotcha. Okay, cool. Yeah. All right. All right, give him a nice pan. Was he living in here? This is all the stuff that his father left behind. Gotcha. And we can only do so much. No doubt. Wow. Yeah. It's a lot of stuff. There's more in the back. <laughs> All right. All right, Robin. It smells like somebody has been uh, indulging in the greenery of the world, of the earth. Mm. I don't indulge. Give him a nice pan there, too. Oh, and it's the one upstairs. All right, we'll go through. Oh man, that's not cool. That's not working. All right, Robin, can you give him a pan of everything? There you go, okay. Y'all leaving all this stuff? Okay. Yeah. So we got this. That's good. We're good, Robin, come on. If you just give him a pan and we're done. Pan, we see it. got yeah. it. From the corner. Got it. Like if you stay right there, just pan it and we're done with it. Give him a nice pan of the room. Okay, so. I want y'all to see this. We got a, come on out. This is like a sunroom. We got a hot tub there I left out there for me. That's gonna cost me money to move. That's just, you know what? It's just part of doing business, y'all. We got a deck out here, gazebo. You see that? You got that good? Oh, we can go outside. Damn, what in the world happened here? Wow. Just give them a shot there, because I don't want you to, I don't even know if that works. So that's the stuff I got to deal with, y'all. Wow. Who's? Get who, down who's? all that, all this stuff. 
Good Lord. So, so have you factored this in? This Is this part yeah. of what you factor in mm -hmm. when you make this? Make this deal work? Yeah. I'm going to factor it all in. And it's a lot of demo. A lot of demo, right? Absolutely. Okay. So y'all going to leave that side door open for us? You coming up with us? Oh, you got no. two stairways? Okay. Uh, yeah, so this is the room right here. Oh, that's a different room. Yeah, that's the room on top of the garage. The frog. Mm-hmm. Finish room over the garage. Okay. This is cool. This is nice. You got a little deck out here. Okay, this is really cool. What do you think? I haven't even seen it. It's a really big room. Mm-hmm. Maybe this is the owner coming up. Okay, cool. But we we work with the buyers. It might be them. Left, left a bunch of stuff for us, Robin. Somebody broke the door. Damn, four hundred dollar door, gone. Like somebody just punched a hole in it. You got in here already? Yeah, that's just the living room. Robin, what do you think this is on the floor? These dots. Stains. I know that. Ooh. Food. Food. Mm -hmm. I wish we had Grease. smell. Smell a vision. You can smell what's going on. Smell what we're laying down. Oh, a mask. Good oh, my God. God. Something's dead. The tools ain't working. Oh, no water? I'll take it in. Unless you want to. You want me to take it in? Go ahead. Open the door. All right. Just, give me, just hold your just breath. Just hold my breath. Yeah, hold your breath. So this here looks like the toilet hasn't worked. Yeah, that's just terrible. So this bathroom, we got to redo. Damn. So they've been in here just shit. I mean. <laughs> you just shit. I don't know what they've been doing, honestly. There's a closet, nothing in there. Okay. What was in here? I like another big closet. Okay, little closet. We gotta get out of here, man. Okay. Looks like he's gone. Oh, did we go in here already? This is another room? Another bathroom. I'm gonna give him a nice pan, top to bottom. Okay, cool. There's another one there in the bathroom. I'm presuming the water's off. Yep, water's off, so he's definitely gonna go. So we got one, two, another bathroom here. I mean, another bedroom. Oh, I guess this was a water bed? Yeah, probably. Interesting. Hope we didn't have it all torn up. Wow, so this is like a serious move out. Who is, you You have a contractor to come and. Well, luckily, that's not my out? department anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even do it. I'm in the money department. I know. <laughs> Best you know place what? to be. I think that'd be my new shirt. Let's stay on that side. <laughs> the money department. Okay. Please be careful. You got yes, ma'am. All right, so we will release the funds. Oh, you're, you're the mother, so we got to just deal with the title. Yeah, he just went to the line That's cool. I'm good. You can keep it rolling. Will y'all be locking up the place, or? Is he going to lock? Tell him to um, just leave it. Make sure just... They left... The sister left me a key? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She had the key to the house. Just leave that back door open. We'll come and deal with all this stuff. All right. You want this down or up? Huh? You want this down? You can push it down. So that's what we have to deal with around up, homies. You can walk with me, come on. That's what we gotta deal with. When you're back. Thank you! Welcome. That's what I gotta deal with. We solve people's problems. We let them leave whatever the hell they want. And then we go in and clean it up, turn it around, for a new family to come enjoy and put the house back in service. You can keep it rolling. So that's the passion part, Chris, being wow. a problem solver. That's what you do. Yes. Seatbelt, okay. I do. I solve problems for people. And you do too. You solve people's problems. This gonna be a good video right here. So now let's go to the closing because I already got the money. Wow, exciting. I got the money already. Yeah, we want these pools. We want to give them a nice shot from this side. Man, this house is killer. So we're it paying is. 250 oh for it. I think it's worth it. Half think a million, right? You know what, Robin? That's not my it's department beautiful. either. 
I stay out of that department. Oh, man. My life got much better. Let me tell you, Robin. Oh, I love it. You can zoom if you want to. You got this joint right here. Isn't that cool? You can zoom right in. Very zoom cool. In. Very cool, guys. So when I stopped being all departments, my life blew up. When I stopped being the random, oh, oh just turn it. So, is it recording still? Mm -hmm. Okay. Right. Give me your fingers. Put your fingers on there. Oh, okay, the grooves. Yeah. All right, there we go. Oh, yeah. This is a sweet house, right? It, it is, indeed. I want to thank God Indeed, for every opportunity. So much potential. Yeah. Potential. There you go. Thank you. We thank God for thank all opportunities God. that come to thank us. Thank you, God. But we have to make them. This isn't a house that you can just buy and resell immediately. You gotta build in the value. You know, this this is not for a beginner to do. It's gonna take probably sixty thousand to do that one. Building in the value can also sometimes be stressful. Oh yeah. Is that a team? Do you have a team helping you to do that? Yep, I don't know anything about construction. They call me, they say, Chris, this is the purchase price. I drive by, I walk through, I agree, let's do it. But when I stopped, I learned, my mentor told me, Chris, the less I do, the more I make. Have you heard that before? Absolutely. Ron LeGrand. So when I stopped trying to do everything, the contractor, the renovation guy, the inspector, the comp, the person running comp, the real, I tried to, when I got out of doing all that stuff and just focused on raising money, it's like my life went bananas, yo. You're following your passion. I mean, so everybody, I recommend, that's a good point. My passion is, I'm just a money guy. I move money from here to there, boom, boom. And people, I know you might not, understand this but it is extremely stressful it is extremely stressful moving money you got to move money here over there you got to make sure it's there interest rate how much are we paying okay money got to be there everybody wired here you got to mail this check this lender he's satisfied okay uh how many days till we have that money when you're moving around all this money i'm telling y'all yo it's very stressful man that's why i got therapists and some people might say oh you lucky you get to just bring money mm -hmm. Because I have to worry about people's lives. These are people's retirements I'm dealing with. These They're are people's life hit. savings. Yeah. I mean, if I screw this up, somebody could really be in a real bind, right? So I have to think about the well-being of my investors, my lenders. Are they secured? So all this stuff you have to think about, which makes you a confident and savvy borrower. I think that's a big problem, Robin. Everybody want to borrow money, but they're not, they're, they haven't built themselves into be the person that is a good borrower. What would Everybody you say? Everybody does not have ethical behavior. You have to have good moral values and you have to truly want to do right by people. That's right. Okay, so we are here at the title company. We'll get all our deals closed, not all, but the majority of them closed right here. And we're gonna go inside. Hopefully you'll be able to meet the title representative if he'll be on camera. But this is extremely simple. So here's the building here. I'm showing the building. Real easy. Go into the title company. And so we're going to go inside. We'll call G. Sit down at closing. And you know, I don't own anything. So I don't have to sign anything. Really, I just have to just drop the check off. It's really weird. What do you mean, Chris? You don't got to sign nothing. Easy breezy. <laughs> you, you keep it rolling. Because if we buy the house in a land trust, then my trustee signs everything. <clears throat> is yeah. that what we're doing today? What? This what? is you, the the purchase is a, in a land trust. I don't know. I think we're taking title into this one in, an, in my in my business partner's LLC or land trust. I'm not quite sure. I would have to look at the HUD. We'll look at it and see. I usually put them in land trust, but my partner got so fed up with people uh, at closings trying to get the money out. Mm -hmm. So sometimes we put them in the LLC just to make it easy. I got your photographer with you today, huh? She's learning and rolling, brother. All right, that's good. I like that. How yeah, are you? All right. We rolling, G. Is that okay? I mean, damn, you always give me a hard time. How much money is we bringing here? Come on, come on. Looks come so on. sharp. Yeah, it looks sharp too, right? 
So George is the man on the title of representative. He closes all of his deals. I don't know how he does it. I don't ask too many questions, but you don't ask too many questions. He gets it done. <laughs> I don't know about that. I don't got to sign nothing, no G. What I got to sign? <sighs> so you satisfied with the condition? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm not satisfied, but am I always satisfied, Robin? With the <laughs> with the condition of that house? Hmm, that's to say the least, but it's uh, it has Satisf potential. It has potential. Yeah. We good. Let's just say we good. Get you a copy yeah, go ahead and make a copy of that, man. You know what? I'm good. I got this part, G. Don't worry about it. You sure? Yeah, I'm good. I don't have to sign nothing, right? Other than uh, no, we don't uh, have a trust on this one. Yeah, Ron is going to come by on Monday and sign. Oh, he's not coming today. Yeah, he went out of town. Okay, I thought he was coming right back. Uh, I'll call him. Whatever. Say. Okay. He told me Monday. Right? All right. Mm -hmm. What you need from me? That was it. I just want to make sure you were satisfied with the walkthrough. I'm good. And I gave you the keys, right? No, I do need the keys. Let me see if I left them in the office. So round up, what I want you to know is I sign nothing. Like, I don't even, I'm telling you, G, what would you say, what do I do on this deal if you had to put me in a box and say what I did? Well, on this one, I hope we, oh, okay. On this one, you, all the only thing you really did was provide the funds mm -hmm. because there was no work you had to do. The um, seller was ready to sell. You all were paying cash, so we didn't have to worry about a lender mm -hmm. and preparing documents for that. So yeah, it was just straight and simple. I want y'all to see this is life here. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get the key? Yeah, I'm get the key. All right, don't. Yeah, you don't want to copy of this? Yeah, you can do it now if you got to go back there. So uh, the purpose of this video, Roundup Homies, you know I have mad love for you. I love you, I promise you, man. I'm, I am knighting you today. I'm knighting you. You do not have to go to a mortgage broker or in a bank to do these type of deals if you know what's going on. Now, don't start off borrowing my and pa's money, okay? It's not gonna be a good day for you because you're gonna be like my man that's getting blown up now. What was it? Cesar Pena is blown. I mean, you're taking all this money from people. You have to be a savvy borrower. Live in New Jersey. Yeah, they do New Jersey. So we secure all of our lenders. They know if Chris gets struck by a bus, if I get hit by lightning, they're good. They are good. If I go rogue and take all the money, guess what they're gonna do? Take all my real estate. And take out real estate, right? So they're they're good. So you have to understand debt. You have to understand understand collateral, cross collateralization, substitution of collateral. All these things that you you must learn if you're going to be like a super savvy real estate investor. That has taken me 20 years to learn, right? Moving debt around, substituting collateral. Okay. So make sure we need you. My, my only challenge for you today is to share this content with somebody else that is in a position of how am I going to do this? The banks won't finance me. My credit's not this. I don't have the debt to income ratio. I don't have enough income. My loan to, what is it? Loan to debt to, in, what is it? Debt to income? Did I say that already? Debt to income. Debt to income ratio is too high. All that stuff, none of that matters when you buy real estate like we do. Is that it, D? We got the keys. Oh, you see the shirt? Keys over cash. Forget the money. Oh. Okay. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Like the content. All right. And remember, I told you, share this stuff with uh, with other people. You For cannot sure. be an information hoarder. All right. We good, Robin.